ओके हे अने आई हैव स्टार्टेड द रिकॉर्डिंग एंड आई विल बी अपलोडिंग दिस ऑन यूट्यूब अने सो इफ यू हैव एनी कंसर्न लेट मी नो नो कंसर्न ओके ओके सो अने द सेम थिंग द पैटर्न वुड बी द रिज्यूमर रिव्यू फॉर फाइव टेन मिनट्स देन वी हैव सम वेरी फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चंस देन वी गो फॉर वन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वन डीएसए क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी विल ट्राई टू टारगेट इन 25 मिनट्स then if we able to do it on time then uh, we might have uh, some follow up question on top of that else we'll go for some other questions like if depending upon how you do it okay okay so uh, let me uh, review your resume so i have already gone through your resume to save the time so i'll just share okay. the points uh, and which you have to work on it so first of okay. all is in your resume uh, the one major thing missing is the summary right so before itself first a summary first put a summary of two lines right uh, like before reading to going through your resume i should be able to know from your summary that okay so you are in which company how many years of experience you have in which tech stack you are working or you are comfortable with and what is the current role this four five okay. things should be in your summary without even going to the uh, so from each uh you can say that segments you should use the summary or it it should be maximum of two lines okay so okay. that is missing that should be the first before even education itself okay so your education okay. is totally good and the professional experience the only point uh, the i see a miss is what is your responsibility so from okay. this i got to know that okay in the mind tree uh, you are working in this so mind tree works in the ivr some Mon web technology, it's all good. What is your role? What you do? So let's say what I mean by your uh, role should be like you are managing the. Uh, you can say that the whole web application, bug fixes, right? You are uh, mentoring or anything like feature development, right? Uh, designing. So these are generally the uh, responsibilities of a software engineer, right? Mm -hmm. So what is your responsibility in this i know that what is the pro, uh, project which you are working on and what is the tech stack but what is your responsibility that is missing right okay. and in the second one you have mentioned the responsibility actually that you have refactor the code base deliver the quality code on time so there are seems like some responsibilities you have shown okay then comes to your projects so projects was a uh, little good but still the same thing so all the projects are just the sole project if it's a sole projects like okay this all done by you but if it is a group project then you just have to mention that uh, so this is my role in that one right if it's a sole sure. projects then it's okay 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 so so if you have planned to say in the interview that uh, it's my solo projects all then uh, okay so means whatever you have told you have highlighted everything so it doesn't matter but in interview i about to say that as a group of three team members we build this then please uh, add your role in that one okay okay so that is the only thing and achievements is good like so as a part of first one year of experience now you have so all the achievements currently which you have that is good but do you have any achievements what i would say that in your current company like now you have one year of experience so mm -hmm. what i what achievement can it be so Okay. generally what we do put in achievement see see any extra thing you have done in your company that's all our achievement right so okay. let's say you have improved the efficiency so that if you see the intern you uh, the company the in which you have done an intern okay. so here that you have written deliver the quality code on time which increase client retention by 8% and profit by 17% this is yeah. your achievement actually okay okay and you can say that uh, you got rewarded for this one so now okay. this become your achievement okay so okay. you can put this in your achievement block okay okay so so see till we are in college so lead code hacker rank all these things ranks matters right but now yeah. when we have one or two years of experience we want to show some achievements based on the company which we have worked Okay. Right? Yes. So this is one of your achievement which you have put into your uh, experience. You can bring it down to the achievement at the first line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Similarly, like anything you have, yeah, like you have built something which helps the fellow developers, right? Okay. So like this, you can add in the achievement. 
technical okay. skill wise all good only thing is in your fundamentals you have written dbms but in the database you have written mongodb please add uh, mysql also if if you okay. know it otherwise that is also good okay extracurricular activity uh, so that is all okay and if you think that i would say that see currently when i'm looking at your resume right there are lot of text right mm -hmm. so i would say that extra curriculum activity you can remove it but when you are going to tell your resume about right you can always mm -hmm. add more detail which is not there in the resume okay, okay. so the only uh, what i'm trying to say is that if we can uh, save some space which is not very much important as of now so mm -hmm. extra curriculum activity is like you mentored the first year students so both are of the college seems right mm -hmm. so that is kind we can always tell our activities when we about to uh, speak right yeah but in the resume since we wanted to kept it one page but little bit uh, less text so you can space uh, free up that uh, bottom space so it could be little bit you can uh, use little bit more uh, space for your information so okay. that's pretty much on your resume rest everything is looks good so uh, highlighted part is all good you have given your project descriptions right that is all good the minor minor uh, improvement that's all otherwise resume are very classic standard format okay okay thanks so that's on the resume part now let's move on to the fundamental uh, this thing okay, okay so for fundamental so currently it's time um, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah, okay. Okay. So let's have five ten minutes for this one. So Anne, can you in one minute can you just give me an estimate value of two raised to power twenty-four? Two raised to power twenty-four estimate value. Um. Okay. Uh, raised to power twenty-four. Uh, around. Uh, What is the property of when you have let's say two raised to power four? What is the how you can write it? Two raised to power two into two raised to power two, right? So yeah, just try yeah, to yeah. divide it and just give me an estimate value. Okay, two raised to power twelve plus two sorry into two raised to power twelve. Uh, so you can use your copy for one minute. Twenty four. Twenty four. A. फोर इज फोर सिक्सटीन एंड एट Okay, sixteen. Okay, one twenty-eight square. One twenty-eight um, square. Which okay. will be. Okay, can you just tell me like how you are going to this problem? Uh, so like I'm breaking down um, the power uh, with respect to the power. So two is about twenty-four can be uh, written as two is about twelve. And two is power twelve, mm -hmm. and then similarly, two is power twelve can be written as two is power uh, uh, two is power three into two is power three into two is power three into two is power three. Okay, can we little bit simplify in the senses? Uh, you know, right? What is two is power ten? Two is power ten. Um, okay, let's yeah. move to the next question. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what is the worst case time complexity of lookup in self-balancing binary search tree? Self-balancing binary search tree. What is it's the worst case uh, time complexity? It's uh, log n. Right. And what about the normal uh, BST tree? Normal binary search tree. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. So. Only lookup, no? Only lookup. So, uh, worst case uh, time so complexity. It is also log n. in that also uh are you sure a uh, normal binary search tree if you construct the worst case we uh, we are we are looking for a worst case not average okay, okay. worst case mm -hmm. uh 
ऑफ हाइट ऑफ द ट्री नो इट्स ओवर इज ओवर इज ओ बिग ओ ऑफ एन राइट लेट्स से बाइंड दिस सर्कल गोस लाइक इन वन स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके स्क्यू ट्री ओके सो व्हाट इज द वर्स्ट केस इंसर्शन कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन हैश टेबल वर्स्ट केस इंसर्शन इन हैश टेबल या ओके सो इट इज ओवर वन दैट कुड बी एन एवरेज व्हाट अबाउट द वर्स्ट ओके सो लाइक इंसर्टिंग अ न्यू एलिमेंट और वी आर वी कैन आल्सो अपडेट द प्रेजेंट at the present key insertion yeah there can always be a collision also right acha so okay so then there will be o of n so number of elements in the table hash map okay for an unweighted graph which okay. algorithm should we use to find the shortest path okay for a unweighted graph graph For unweighted graph, which algorithm should be used to, to find, find the shortest, shortest path? path. Um, BFS, BFS. B- yes, BFS. Mm, okay. Why? Okay. Uh, BFS, like we can go level by level mm-hmm. and like find the uh, shortest path like that, no? And keep a visited array, also. Okay. Okay. Can you just tell me uh, with very just concerned me? Um, like 10 year old will i don't understand any of the technical terms uh, no. please explain me the all the oops concept so oops concept okay so uh, like oops concept is a concept in computer science using which we can like uh, uh, like illustrate a real world object into code mm, right so we can uh, create the properties and illustrate it uh, similar to in, in like using methods and variables which we use inside code and yeah like uh, in simple words this would be the no what are all the concepts which we have uh, inheritance okay. polymorphism tell me that with the okay example. inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation okay so inheritance would be um uh taking the same properties which our uh, parent has something uh, like that and polymorphism would be um uh having the same name but doing different things uh and there would be subtle differences uh, which would uh, like make the two methods different I I, uh, I am a ten, I am very uh, new to this concept, right? So I am not sure. What do you mean by doing the same thing two methods? So can you give okay, me okay. some easy example to understand? Okay, okay. So, okay. So there is one. Uh, there are two persons. Okay. Uh, one is a father and one is a one is a son. Okay. So both person can write. Okay. but a father can write uh, like uh, in his own handwriting or something and a son can write in his own way so there are like two behavior of the same uh, uh, like two behaviors of the same function we can say or the same method which is right and we can say okay and where uh, yes father like like we override uh, uh, like you okay. override the method okay no problem okay can you tell me what is virtual function oh okay virtual functions so in virtual functions uh, what we have is um, we define a function virtual uh, um when like we do not uh, do the implementation of the uh, function at that in that class but we Uh, leave that up to the uh, child class mm-hmm. uh, and how do want how do they want to implement that mm-hmm. and virtual function has to be implemented by every child class mm-hmm. yeah okay so that's pretty much on the fundamentals part right 
सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द डी एस ए क्वेश्चन अने ओके अने सो आई विल टेल यू द क्वेश्चन वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज राइट एंड देन यू कैन टेक यूर टाइम एंड आई डोंट नो वाई दिस एस सी एल एंड ऑल दिस कमिंग सो यू कैन रिमूव इट बाई दिल गो थ्रू दिस राइट सो सो द क्वेश्चन इज यू नीड टू डिजाइन अ हिट काउंटर राइट एंड वॉट डज इज हिट काउंटर विल डू इज विच काउंट द नंबर ऑफ हिट्स रिसीव इन द लास्ट पास्ट फाइव मिनट्स Okay. okay so in last 5 minutes whatever the hits comes you have to just count it okay now how does it work now let's go to that so we have to implement two method the get and the hit method right okay. so what happen is each function accept a time stamp parameter in seconds so let's say it's just an integer so it all this will come in seconds so let's say here okay. if you see an example you will see that hit one Two. So these are nothing but a seconds. Okay. Okay. So these are all seconds. So now in this case, what question says that each function accept a timestamp parameter in seconds granularity. Mm -hmm. You may assume that calls are being made to the system in chronological order. So means uh, whenever there is a hit with a timestamp, with the uh, timestamp is in second. You need. Yeah. You can assume that for now it's always come as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So timestamp is in increasing order. It's always come. Okay. Right, you may assume that the earlier timestamp start with at one. So always timestamp start at one, not zero, negative, nothing. So one, okay. two, three, four, like this. So now in this example, if you see, right? Okay. So how it will work? Just see that example. So first is hit at timestamp one. So now what it is coming is a counter dot hit one. So what does it means is like I have hit at timestamp one. So one okay. hit has come. Now second hit at timestamp two. So now I am uh, calling one method counter dot hit and putting the timestamp in second two. So means okay. at the second timestamp I again made a hit. Now uh, at uh, so this is just a repeat duplicate. So you can remove this one. So this now one. Uh, yeah this one. So now at a uh, third line hit at timestamp three. So we are trying to make another hit. So we are doing counter dot hit at second third. So at third second, we make an another hit. So total okay. till now three hits has been done. Okay. Right now, get hit at timestamp four. So now okay. I am trying. So I am now uh, calling a method counter dot get hits, and I am giving a second. Like give at fourth second, give me how many hits has come. Okay. Okay. So how many hit has come till now? A hit at one, hit at two, hit at three. So three hits has come. so that's why we should return 3 so that's why it said okay. should return 3 okay. okay so now let's okay. go for the then we say that hit at time stamp 300 so now let's okay. say another hit comes at 300 second so okay. we call a method counter dot hit 300 okay. right so how many um, hit has happened now 4 yeah. right okay. one one hit has happened at uh, second one another hit has happened at second two another hit has happened at second three Another hit has hap happened at uh, second three hundred. Okay, yeah. Okay. So now total four hit. Now the second last line get hit get hits at the timestamp three hundred. Now I okay. want to find all the hits by the time three hundred. So how many okay. hits happen total? Four. four. One, two, three, and three hundred. Yeah. Okay. Now at timestamp three hundred one, how yeah. many hit has come? Get hit. Yeah. So at now three hundred one times time only three. Why? Because question okay. says that you only need to consider the hit in last five minutes. Means three hundred seconds. Okay? okay. So now at three hundred one, the first second one hit, the first hit which is happened at the first second will get removed. Okay. Okay. So that's why only three hits now. Okay. Okay. Got it. And it is also possible that at one at similar Second, let's say you can get more than one hit. Let's say counter dot hit one, another counter dot hit one. So at the same second, you can get more than one hit also. It's okay, so at one timestamp only, like I can hit uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So counter dot hit one, counter dot hit one, counter dot hit one. That is also a possible use case. Okay. Okay. So you understood the question now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's ten thirty-seven. Ah, yeah, you can start thinking. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so five minutes means three hundred seconds. So okay, so anything in the time period of three hundred seconds, uh, we need to return the amount of hits. Okay. So, so should I write along with the what I'm saying? Let's Or, first discuss the approach, like what you're okay. thinking. Then once we okay. decide the approach, then you can start the coding. Each function wants to return. Okay. So uh, we have one, two, three. Um. First thing, what we can do is we have to uh, like store the number of hits, obviously, so that we can return. Mm -hmm. And somehow we have to reduce it after few hundred seconds. Mm -hmm. So. So what we can do is um. So obviously, I'll create one variable for a number of hits. And for every hit counter, sorry, counter dot hit, I will increase the count like number of hits, and um one two three and at three hundred I have okay. So um when I reach three hundred, mm -hmm. uh I have to identify the. How many hits are there? Okay. So till three hundred we have four hits. Sorry, three hits, no? Correct. Uh, till three hundred you have four hits because uh, before uh, doing a get we have a hit at three hundred also. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, so till three hundred we have four hits. Four so hits. when we come to three hundred one, mm -hmm. we have to remove this one. Correct. Okay. Because we only need to consider uh, five minutes only. Mm, okay. So what we can do over here is, if I take something like, uh, uh, if I store this in a map, like for every timestamp, mm -hmm. number of hits I can store. Like, if uh, at timestamp one there are multiple hits, then also I will store. Like at timestamp one, mm -hmm. uh. We can like if I have five hits, then I will store one as a key and like number of hits as value mm -hmm. five. Okay. Okay. And what I will do is um, at three hundred one, I have to remove one from the. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to remove one uh, value at one. Mm -hmm. From my total number of counts. So yes. So um, whatever is my value, like the timestamp value. Mm -hmm. So if it is 400, 500, 600, anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I will do is I will. Um, what I can do is so if it is 600 or let's say it is 302. So what I will do is I will go to I will go till two and um, I'll go at two and remove number of. Uh, uh hits at number 2 okay and like remove how will i remove like i will have one variable with total number of hits minus number of hits uh at number 2 timestamp okay so i will get the number of hits at uh, like number of hits till this uh like so let's say that the the timestamp value when we are saying timestamp can be one two three four three hundred let's mm -hmm. say it can increase to two raised to power ten nine that much okay. so you can get seven four 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 five six and something like that in an integer range only okay so just see from that perspective itself like uh, will you be able to whatever the solution which you are uh, getting with hash map will you able to take care of it but I got your approach. What you're saying is you will take a hash map and your key would be timestamp value would be the frequency. And mm. uh, let's say whenever you are getting a hit with a timestamp, you will use a timestamp as a key and put plus one, whatever the value is there. And yeah. whenever you do a get, so you will, uh, so w what you will do when you get a, let's say get hit at uh, four. So what you will do? How you will identify that uh, which one you, you need to remove? So I was telling that uh, if I have four, then uh, actually uh, no need to remove. But 
uh, if I have something, some value in timestamp, I will go beyond like at three hundred minus four. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that value, uh, I'll check how many hits are there previously to like uh, at that point how many hits were completed. So, uh, so till from four and um, from four till five minutes before four. I only want those hits, so I will remove the previous hits from Co there. Correct, correct. So you you are you are thinking right. So how many hits? Uh, how so you are just trying to find out a before three hundred range. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes. uh, it's not three hundred minus four. It would be four minus three hundred. Ah, sorry, yes. Right? So that oh, would become negative. So you will take from one because time start started one. So it can never yeah. go at negative. So you know that okay one two three you have to consider uh, till yeah. four. So you will now do in the get uh, get method in the hash mm. map you will do a get of one get of two get of three till get of four, mm. right? But now let's say you have to remove something. Okay, now with the formula which you told me, okay you got to know that okay until let's say you got for example for three hundred one you got okay from two only I have to start. Because let's say three hundred one minus three hundred plus one will give you two. So now okay. you know that before two has to be removed, right? Yeah. As per you. So, so now. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how you will remove in the hash map? So you will go and uh, remove all. No, no. Right? I was. Yeah. One second. Let me. So I was telling you that. Uh, so um. So this three hundred one is there. So just uh, what I will do is. Uh, um, three three hundred one minus three hundred, so I'll get one. So at um at my like hash map of one, there will be some value. Like mm -hmm. it will be number of hits. So I will return uh uh the number of hits at three hundred and one minus this. Do you think this will work? Um, what if like for example. Uh, mm -hmm. You got uh, 300, uh, let's say not consider 301, let's consider as 600. So 600 okay. minus 300, right? So 300. So yeah. before that, you have to remove, right? So it's not only one value. Yeah, so uh, like I will, like, what I will do now, I will create, uh, like, the value would be all, like the total number of hits till that point, I'm telling you. Oh, like okay. So you are saying at at, at time three, I will have the total number of hits till three hundred. Okay, okay, Not okay. at three hundred. Okay, okay. So till three hundred, I will remove. Then it is uh, much easier. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. So that's what I am saying. Hmm. So you are going to add a cumulative one. Mm, yes. So if like uh, I'll keep on adding. And uh, so that I don't have to uh, like go through all the values again. Okay, okay. What would be the time complexity? Just can you uh, take different use cases and dry run okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, how do I? One second. So, yeah. So if I call it at one. Um, I'll create one variable over here. Total hits mm. is equal to zero. Okay. Mm. Now at time from one, I will hit. Uh, I'll write h like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, this will go. I'll increase my total number of hits. Then uh, and when I increase uh, this, I'll also like I'll have my map now. So uh, let let me write my map only. Okay. So I'll like mm -hmm. map it okay. like this. Okay. Um, so at timestamp two, so let's say uh, I again hit at timestamp one. Mm -hmm. Total number of hits will be two. Mm -hmm. So again, my uh, it will become two. Okay. Again, I'll do at one only, and it will become three. It will become three. Okay. Now let's say I'll go at four. Okay. Sorry. Sorry yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Just take randomly. Let's say uh, it comes fifty-five. At okay, time 55, 55 seconds, uh, you got one hit. Yeah, so at uh, time 55, I got one hit. So I will take four over here. No, how? What is the logic? So now this is your, yeah. uh, now this is your, 
a hit method called yeah, yeah, yeah. so now what you are doing here is uh, how you will do so what i am doing over here is uh, like total hits i have 3 mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what i will do is i'll write here 4 why because 3 plus 1 is 4 and also i will have to check if before 5 minutes i have some value or not but because 55 is less than like less than 300 mm -hmm. uh, it will not have Correct. so after 300 value i can like start checking mm -hmm. okay 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 so mm -hmm. till now you will so, store this for so in your uh, hit method what you have done is you just try to see that is there uh, we cross 300 or not yeah. if not you just simply add uh, the one then that yeah, yeah 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 okay so let's take 100 no, now let's come let's it comes say, at 100 i will have let's say 5 um, it is still so, less than 300 so you will add 4 plus 1 5 okay uh, it will become 9 then over here also it will become 9 so let's say uh, i'll take 300 directly Hmm. And when at three hundred, I will have one more. So I'll hmm. become create ten over here. Okay. Now okay. I'll create ten. Now, now let's say come seven uh, fifty. At seven fiftieth, you or 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 let's say at nine hundred, you got something. Just one okay. use case is nine hundred. Let's say. Mm hmm. Okay. Nine hundred. Okay. So now you got one hit at nine hundred. So what you will store here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So at nine hundred, would I like nine hundred minus three hundred would not be there. Mm. So I have to traverse the map and find the closest value. The nine hundred minus three hundred is six hundred. Six hundred is yeah, not there. Not so there. you have to traverse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think this will not work. If this will uh, work, but there will be time complexity, complexity of traversing. Yes. Right, every time. The map. Th that's yes, what I was exactly. saying. It cannot be like in continuous. That you will always find that value in a key. Right? Yes. Can you think yes. of little bit better in this case? Uh, one second. So I have nine hundred over here. So I have to traverse till three hundred till I get my value. Okay. Okay. Um. And so you are telling me to reduce the time complexity, no? Yeah, because let's say you got O of one, O of one, O of one. Like let's say there would be uh, so many three zero one, three zero two, like so many hit. Now yeah. you have to traverse each uh, if every time. Yes, there yes, is yes. a uh, you have to store it. So yeah, can yeah. you uh, use something uh, with like where you can store the value from? uh and and uh, remove okay, the value from the start okay. so what i can do is can create i can can you use the property like uh, which i told you that the time will always be in sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will always be in sequence either not increasing order not sequence increasing order 1 2 55 okay. it will always be increasing order so can you just uh -huh. use this property okay, so with the yeah 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 So That's like right. we can binary search. Uh, no, no, not binary this. search. Uh, okay, you you can use your time. Yeah. Uh, if if this would be in sequence, so what I can do is uh, um, how do I uh, on the keys, huh? On the keys. So the keys are always in sorted manner. Um, so if we store the keys and then search, if I can do one thing, no? Like uh, I can store the previous, like so just close. Just a heads up, we are twenty minutes past already. So we have another. Uh, Ten minutes for this question. Okay. So at nine hundred, so for every um, like hit, I can store um, one thing like, such as my previous closest previous something like that. Um, if this will work. 
so at 900 my closest so at 1 my closest previous is nothing till 300 it is nothing so at 300 1 i'll uh, like keep my three closest previous uh, something like uh my f- one would be the closest previous till 300 now at 300 and 1 uh okay i i'll give you a hint uh, so let's uh, go away from hash map can you okay. make use of uh, double ended queue let's see if you are able to go through from here like uh, can we use double ended queue property like you can add the value from the back and you can remove the value from the front okay just see if this little bit simplifies your problem You, you whatever you have come up with the hash map right that exactly correct only one thing which you are keeping is stuck is like in hash map you have to search by a key so if that key is not there you have to traverse now you only yeah. have to resolve that so now just see the same approach what to have told like okay. uh, last so three ended you will find just use a double ended queue yeah so if you take the queue size at 300 and like obviously we will insert till 300 we get uh, till 300 and that oh not not the size as 300 sorry so till the value uh, is less than 300 we will insert in queue okay. and uh okay so how will that be like one if i On one hundred and three hundred, and then nine hundred. Now, okay. So at three hundred, what we have to do is, um, I would have to search. My, uh, what is the closest previous now? This would be my. Second, five, two, three, nine, five, ten. Um, at nine hundred, and I want six hundred to six hundred is not. So if I if I get a hit at three hundred and one. What I, what will I have to do is I will have to remove the value of one from total list. Yeah. Uh, so one would be present at the starting, and I will have to remove till I get my like closest variable. Na? I think so. Uh, so if it is three hundred, let's say. It is four hundred. I have so I have to remove a uh, hundred from there. So I'll I'll see if my four uh, hundred minus one is greater than or sorry four hundred minus one is less than or equal to three hundred. So it is not. So till I get less than or equal to three hundred, I will remove. And. Because we don't need those elements as it is in order, and after after that, when I reach hundred, I can store my four hundred value over here, or uh, something like this. Uh, okay. And nine hundred. Then I have to search all the values. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so if nine hundred is there, now to search. So uh, what what you are making this nine hundred, four hundred, three hundred, hundred? What is this? This is. This is a timestamp, like. No, uh, you are storing in which structure? Data structure. The Q Q. Okay, how come nine hundred comes before? Okay, so you are in, uh, storing in decreasing order. No, no, I'm like to. uh storing it like our uh, first one comes and uh, last in first out fashion 
we have to store okay so because it is not sorted uh, we have to store this in something like this format only and in and we have to traverse through all the elements and remove all the unwanted ones so it can be anywhere in the between no i sorry i didn't get the approach could you please pardon uh so like if the timestamp are not sorted mm-hmm. so uh, like it can be in any order so double ended queue is like if we okay. use then it we can we will lose the Done. data Correct. we will uh, okay so what we can do is we can use something like map only uh and uh, also what we will do is uh, we are not removing any like data like in in the queue uh, we are we can traverse the whole uh, like map till we get our um, desired value and then uh, minus it from the okay. like total number of hits and store it over here okay okay ane so we have crossed the uh, time so we are almost uh, 55 minutes okay so shall we start with the feedback so can you can you stop sharing uh, this presentation uh, this screen sharing uh, let me Hello. Oh, yeah. okay so naman let's start with the feedback but before that do you have any feedback for me like anything was not good or anything was not clear you can tell me from me you know from for for me Uh, from me yeah yeah for you yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, like it was good it was okay. like you were good and good in explaining the question and everything okay. so let's start with your feedback ane so first yeah. thing is you have to work little bit on your base which i found so like few points which are like virtual function you know it but the way you have given the expression right that makes like you are not fully confident right so it could be like giving me a 50 50% uh, like you might know it or it could be wrong also so there was no confidence in that one right okay so another thing is you have to work really on your examples giving right okay for the oops what you have given right examples okay. that was totally not uh, you can say that considered as an examples right okay. so this is a very popular question like uh, for you have to explain something to the kids like so you have to be very good in the example so this is actually real time you gonna use in when you are working so you have to explain your thinking to someone let's say product owner you have to explain the technical terms to the product owner or manager who are sometime not good in the technicals so they should be able to understand what the techni- uh, technical terms you are trying to express so this is okay. that's why it is very common question very popular question so you have to really work on your example right and it should be instantly like it's it's not something which you know before right all you should know is the concept but you have to work like at the i have an uh, i have everything what is it but i have to explain it right so that should be something instant it should come up right okay. so that one thing another thing is in the interview never use acha right and uh-huh. yeah, yeah, sure. so you have used couple of times so uh, so this is okay mock interview is all about this one only right but in the try to avoid this in the real interview sometime interviewers are chill they don't consider this but sometimes uh, let's try to avoid uh, let's be professional as much as we can right okay. and there are a few things like 10 days about 24 this is also kind of very good questions uh, like you can say that it's a filter question like before even the interview there is something called phone screening mode phone mm-hmm. screening interview in that we got this question like what is 10 days about 24 so this is very common question is like i think 2 days about 10 is 1024 you can convert it to 10 days about 3 then right you can mm-hmm. just uh, divide it like 4 2 days about 4 into 2 raised to power 10 right so this become around 16 10 raised to power into 10 raised to power 3 ka square so around 16 million right so okay. just we need to tell how we are dividing it at least we know that something mathematical we know right so this is very mathematical very basic mathematical property right so okay okay yeah so it's not that like always we got to know so if, even if you don't get this thing that's okay 
but this is they do ask right lot of okay. companies you can get this question for sure yeah and if we have any mentality like mathematical questions cannot be asked in data structures and algorithm that is also is incorrect actually which i tell like many time mathematical small math not big mathematicals but small mathematical questions do asked in the interview right so few thing like uh, you, the time complexity of dst one you balance cell balance uh, binary search tree you told correct but uh, normal binary search tree was incorrect so something has to be worked on the base right and i told there has to be improved okay now let's come to the dsa so i would say that this dsa question like first thing is uh, you are a little bit fast in deciding the approach so uh, how why i would say that is so i was uh, let's say interviewer is giving you a hint that this is a sorted form 1 5 3 okay. now you might know that whenever the array is in sorted form apply bst so suddenly you jump in okay we will use bst binary search tree right so mm-hmm. binary search tree nowhere is in this one we are right so whatever the or also i have given you a hint double ended cube before also but you again go with the hash map so always use hint okay. so i again give you the uh, double ended cube hint again uh, when so sometime interviewer will always give hint once but if you ignore that or you couldn't catch it he might not give again so right so you have to listen to the interviewer very carefully also right so even if even if you don't give hint feel free to ask for the hint and let's say you are uh, uh, trying to find an approach on the hash map so let's okay. say you if you if you think that okay this interview is for 30 minutes i i, I have already spent 10 minutes on this right i also need 10 minutes for my coding I, I have only now 10 minutes more to find an approach mm-hmm. at the 10 minute just ask for the hint don't spend okay. 20 minutes and then ask for the kid you won't get time for the coding like you today happens you don't have enough time for the coding itself so okay. you have to uh, divide the 30 minutes like 10 minutes coding 20 minutes for approach and right so out of this 20 minutes 10 minutes you give it to yourself if you know that okay 10 minutes i'm not going anywhere feel free to ask the interviewer the hint even if he's not giving at least we can always ask right even if not if interviewer is sometimes very friendly they can still try to help they give minor hints right so feel free to ask the hints if you think you are disturbed right listen to the interviewer if he is giving the hints like say sometimes not directly sometimes by talking he just give hint so we have to be very careful what interviewer says like in mm-hmm. while he is talking he might be trying to tell us something right so that is this thing and this question like if you have just approach is wise good you have come up with the hash map approach okay but only thing is the data structures you have choose hash map right that's where you stuck so first thing is like uh, the little bit work has to be done on picking the right data structures right so if you have uh, picked something related to queue before right something hash map or queue uh, then let's say you have come up with double ended queue that would be like easy straightforward the first part of the question is done then only thing left is follow up when it's jumbled mm. right so first thing is uh, hash map is always good but as you think like okay it's uh, stuck so we have to work little bit on the which uh, data structure fits well right so always use uh, first analysis right so like I have given you one example so by yourself itself you should come with some other different use cases then you have to do a dry run of your approach which you did hash map one right and then uh, before that deciding you have to choose like okay this hash map never said that hash map is correct right always at that point keep that okay still i am finalizing the data structure hash map is not finalized right what i'm trying to say is that uh, don't finalize the hash map and just fully jump into that always okay. open your uh, mind for like okay there could be some better data structure for this not only hash map right so currently okay. what happens today is right you spend around 20 minutes in hash map itself but you can also think of some different data structures i think if you think apart from hash map i think q might be the next best data structure for this you can automatically get right yeah. so that's what i'm saying 
once you get a like okay this can be done through hash map or stack not always stick to it always keep open for that there could be other data structure which i can use spend some time on okay. stack if not start thinking like okay is there any better data structure with this i am stuck in here in hash map is there any better data structure which i can use so you are okay. trying to improvise on the hash map putting the next best value and all that where it can be improved so that was something hash map is you are not able to solve it hash map that is pretty good like we will all stuck there right but the uh, things which can be improved you are trying to improvise on hash map itself like you have finalized that i have to work it on hash map itself i have to make okay. the solution work on hash map itself so that's where the problem is okay so don't finalize the data structure at the first which come to your mind work on it see where you stuck and see like okay is there any other data structure if not then whatever you have worked on go back to it right try to improvise it but if let's say if another data structure you spend couple of more minutes just yeah it's better let's switch it to that one okay okay so that is another thing but rest approach wise you are good little bit work on the data structures part and the speed right okay so this one which i asked is the first one so this question has two part the first one which i asked you is the medium one so it's not easy so that's good okay so approach wise you are good only thing is data structure usage if it done you are already done with the double ended queue so the solution which you have given me for the double ended queue that's fine the second part which make it little bit difficult is the jumbled one right yeah so before jumbled one i was expecting the code for the medium one right so but today what happened is we spend lot much time on the hash map part and uh, trying to find it so that's why this we are didn't get a time for a coding even though we have the approach yeah okay so and that's pretty much is on the feedback part where has to be improved right i hope that would be helpful man yes yes okay okay so, so yeah so man thanks a lot and i will stop the screen recording just a sec